First thing I want to say, I am so proud of my daughter. And I think I can justify that. I could list her achievements, being a school teacher, but there's more than more to that. People who know me know I'm a bit of a geek, a bit of an anorak. People who know me know I'm probably more than that. So when Rachel was born, all I wanted was someone who would use this and be interested and be wanting to learn. So I was so pleased when Rachel kind of turned out that way. So much so that when I gave Rachel her bedtime stories, it wasn't Jack and Jill or anything like that. It was a history lesson, I'm afraid. And she, she will agree. But there's more to Rachel than that. I'm proud of Rachel for the person she is, for the loving, caring, kind person she is. And I don't want to make her cry. <laughs> and so we come to Michael. Now you all know Michael. You know what kind of man Michael is. I could not ask. I could not if I prayed to God, I could not get a better son-in-law than Michael. You all know what kind of man he is. He's loving, he's kind, he's considerate. He's everything anybody could want in a son-in-law. And I'm getting a bit welled up here, but anyway. So, Michael being the man he is, I have to say, Andy, Jackie, you can be proud of your boy. And proud of the way you brought him up. He is an absolute star. finish this with one last thing. I'll give you one piece of advice. Remember what brought you here today, your love for each other. So every day, look after it, cherish it, care for it, because that love will let you overcome anything that life throws at you. Without they bring the subject, ladies and gentlemen. Now have the honour and honour and privilege to propose a toast. So, if you would charge your glasses, the toast is the bride and groom. Thank you. Thank you.